Welcome everybody to more Banjo Tui. We stand in the temple of the mighty Jiggy, ready to open up the final door that will lead us to our final battle. Are we all ready? Let's complete this challenge, shall we? Wow, that took <laughs> took longer for all the pieces to go out than usual. <laughs> That just shows how much how much lag that there was in the game. So here we go. We just have one final world standing in the way between us and Grunty. And it's not even a full world. It's a very tiny one. That lacks any collectibles because we've already got all the collectibles in the game. That's what we finished doing last time. Still a very simple puzzle. Even if the controls are not that good. <laughs> Like, it, the, the Bottles Puzzle Picture Challenge in Banjo-Kazooie 1, that was a lot harder because you actually had to rotate the pieces. Not so in this. <laughs> a place for every piece and every piece in some place. There we go. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 9, so now the Great One will show you the way. Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. Back to the quagmire. <laughs> like the camera angle. Cauldron Keep. And we blast the lasers away. Don't don't ask how that works. We must have caused a power outage over there. You are indeed the chosen one. You also have enough Jiggies to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 10. Yeah, well, maybe we'll do that later. That requires a whopping 70 Jiggies, and I know we have all the Jiggies in the game, but still. We just wanted to open up the final world. So here we go, off to the quagmire. And we have the nice little shortcut that lets us go up there now. Because we already went there once. I also want to point out, I may have pointed this out before. See this bridge up here? I've always wondered if there was a way to get up there, because it looks like there's an exit on this side. And then it looks like there's clearly an exit on that side as well. I've always wondered where that went, if that was like a back way into Grunty Industries or whatnot. But I can't be the only one who's curious about that. Anyhow, here we go. Cauldron Keep, secret exit. Let's go in. Let's settle this. Welcome to Cauldron Keep. Very small world, there are only two warp pads, one at the beginning and one at the end. And look at that. It's just like the Blastomatic from Donkey Kong 64. And yep, this is what we saw in Jiggy Wiggy's challenge. A mechanical castle tower surrounded by this mysterious yellow mist. Anyhow, it looks like we've got a couple of switches over here. Before we do that, though, let's take a look around the tower, see what's up. Looks like there's some doors there. I'm not sure what kind of goo this is, but it is pink. Oh hey, it's a Jinjo! Because we've already collected all the Jinjos, you, that's a surefire way of knowing that's a Minjo. It's fake. Take that. 
We can use Wonder Wing to get across, no problem. Push this switch. And hey, that removes the lasers somewhere. Apparently this world was originally planned to be a full-size world with jiggies and notes and everything, but I guess Rareware kind of ran out of time. And so it was stripped down to just basically a small final dungeon. That's okay, I still think it's pretty epic, but it would be cool to see <laughs> what would have happened if they had managed to implement it. It makes sense, because it's like, oh, we have 90 jiggies in the game and like 900 notes. It would have been cool to have like the even 100 and 1,000, you know? Anyhow, there's a Banjo switch on this side and a Kazooie switch on the other side. So, with Banjo... You can use the Sack Pack. I think you can also use the Shack Pack. With Kazooie, it's actually a little bit trickier. As you can see, a simple Wing Hover is not going to be enough to get us across. So we're going to have to glide. Still very easy. And there we go, now the drawbridge falls down. So again, this is like the back way into Cauldron Keep. The doors we saw in the back are the main way, but those are locked. And yeah, if you had pushed the switch first, if you'd pushed the switches first, then the drawbridge would have fallen down, but then the lasers would have been blocking the way. That's why you need to hit the switch in the back as well. Alright, let's see what's inside. The gatehouse. Hey, Kazooie! There doesn't appear to be anyone in here. Oh, yes, there is. The music's changed. Every time that happens, we always end up in a fight. True. Yeah, Klongo must defend Mistress Grunty Castle. Klongo, career questioning minion. Uh, don't you ever learn? Klongo clever, learn lots, has learned new potion. Is it as useless as all the others? Yes, er, Klongo means no, must win this time, or mistress, feed me to monster. Alright, here he eats the green potion. You not find clever Klongo now. So this is the third and final Klungo fight, where he uses his third variant of potion, where he turns invisible. This is probably the toughest one. Durr, use this potion, give away Klungo position. And now he chucks potions at us again, but he has a much better aim this time. I'm gonna just shoot eggs willy-nilly and hope I hit him. I believe Kongo also gets faster in this fight compared to the others. Yeah, as you can see, he's actually aiming his shots now, so if we just, like, run away in a straight line from him, we're not actually going to dodge them, so we kind of have to fake him out. Anyhow, as long as you're close to him when he first turns invisible, it's very easy to hit him, but if he's a good distance away, you might have some trouble finding him. Alright, there we go. Free hits and he's still dead. Yeah. Kongo's still an easy fight. Poor guy. He gets more beaten up every time we see him. Kongo noticed something happening after fights with Baron Bird. And that is? Klongo gets less and less handsome. Now Mrs. Klongo won't want me anymore. Klongo had enough. Aww. Future prospects not good with Mistress Grunty. No chance of promotion. No days off. No pay. Klongo go find easy desk job. Maybe make stupid games. <laughs> and that's how Klongo got a career in game development. Klongo, I don't know about you, but um, game development is not an easy career. <laughs> the hours are long and the work is hard. And that's why I changed my mind about wanting to be a game developer. I like my free time. 
Aw, oh, poor guy. At least he finally decided to quit, because I felt bad for Kwongo. He didn't seem like he was that evil, he just was following the wrong person. Just misguided. <laughs> Here we go, the Tower of Tragedy quiz. Hi, Grunty. Thank you, thank you. I'm Grunty, your host, and may I welcome you to my Tower of Tragedy quiz! Let me run through the rules for you all. There are three rounds of general knowledge questions, and the person with the lowest score at the end of each round will be eliminated. Correct answers score two points, with one point being awarded if it was a second guess following the incorrect answer from another contestant. Get one wrong, and I'll take two points off you. Press B to buzz in, and then A to answer if you can. Now let's meet tonight's victims. Er, uh, I mean contestants, shall we? Introducing on the left, it's my gorgeous, slim sister, Mingella. On the right, we have... My lovely, uh, shapely sister, Blobelda. And in the middle... Just some loser bear called Banjo. On gets ton one gets tunned. Now, let's go. What is Target's and the Mayan God of? Ooh, of target shooting. Fair enough. What could be found in the Isle of Hag's Quagmire? Uh, she's guessing a railway bridge. A lucky guess! What is the name of Grunty Industries' boss? It's Weldar. Yeah, this is like, this is the replacement of the Fiery Furnace. I'll accept that. I still love how there's a quiz. Here's a scene from the game. Star Moon Sun. Uh, oh, I didn't, I pro, I buzzed in too early, whoops. You half-wit, anyone else? What's the question? What didn't you see? Oh. You're not smart. You're all wrong! Take a look at this scene. She only deducted one point from Manjoa. She's playing favorites. All right, that's Madam Grunty's tent. What? You know it all! What was the question? What object did the UFO aliens at Jolly Rogers... Um, one of them had a ray gun. They one of them had a ray gun! You fool! Anyone else? Oh, it's probably what did they not have. Oh, doggone it. Yeah, the problem is, if you buzz in before Scavenger, <laughs> what brand of battery is used to open the battery-operated doors of Grunty Industries? Um, Shaza? I have negative two points. Thicko! Anyone else? <laughs> Uh-oh. That's the problem with this. You you have to buzz in before the others, but you can buzz- anyone can buzz in before the question appears. Well, it was 50-50. We are not doing well. Here's a scene from the game. Oh, that's Wumpa's Wigwam. Uh, it was mostly... yellow? Oh, come on! You fool! Anyone else? Which color is not used? Oh, which one is not used? Doggone it! Stupid Grunty! The problem is they will buzz in before the question I need anyways. Well, it was 50-50. Let's look at that screen. Oh, no. I gotta... There's only 40 seconds left. There were three. There were three! You plank! Anyone else? How many bricked up archways? There were three! <laughs> there are only 20 seconds left to the quiz. We have to get eight. <laughs> oh, great. Who has a germ problem in Cloud Cuckoo Land? Oh, it was, um, Guffo. I'll accept that. How does Cheeto, the spellbook, help Banjo? He gives cheats? Hmm, okay. What? Uh, uh, there was a monkey. <laughs> you half wit. Anyone else? 
Oh, oh. Well, the time's up. We we really sucked at that quiz. Scavenger! That's the end of round one. As expected, it's the Dunspear who's last with a loser score of negative four! <laughs> that rhymed! And we gone. Well, was not expecting to lose that. I forgot that you don't get to see... Okay, I forgot you don't get to see the question if you buzz in early. And I also forgot that her sisters buzz in early. So you basically... If, if it's a screen question, you just basically never get to see what the question is. And her sisters generally get it right. So you kind of just have to, have to buzz in and then hope you get it right. The tragic bear returns! Looks like we've got to start with round one again. Here's a scene from the game. Okay, that's the cheese from Claude Kugelan. There are four holes. Okay, say the question. Where is this inside? It's inside the cheese wedge. Hmm, okay. What is Minji Janjo announced as? Oh, he's the crafty shaman impersonator. Unlucky guess! No, I remembered that. What is unusual about Master Jiggy Wiggy? Um, he has a jiggy for a head. That's pretty weird. Ah, fair enough! <laughs> Take a look at this scene. Okay, red, green, blue. And that's in the Cave of Horrors. The blue one has weird eyes. Fair enough! That was a complete guess. Complete guess. Here's a scene from the game. That's the Dodgem Dome. Red on the left, yellow in the middle, purple on the right. Red, yellow, purple. Rip. Where do these doors lead to? The Dodgem Games. Not bad! Which event would you not compete in against Cloud Cuckoo Um, we did not do a long jump. We did a high jump. Hmm, okay. Here's a scene from the game. Um, I think that's the Seaweed Sanctum? Never mind. You know it all! Which game does not have a refrigerator magnet? Uh, there was not one for Perfect Dark. What? You half-wit! Anyone else? Was it Jet Force Gemini? They had posters. There was definitely Banjo-Kazooie friend magnets. What? Only one point, though. What object is the alien girl holding in Hailfire Peaks? She was holding a, a mirror, I guess. I'll accept that. Who owns the sacred temple where the Jiggy is? Um, that would be Jiggy Wiggy. Hmm, okay. Which Banjo-Kazooie world is not seen in Banjo-Tooie on a... Oh, um, there was not one of Gobi's Desert. I'll accept that. Freeze Easy Peak was in Baki Ziggu, and then Treasure Trove go in, uh, Jolly Roger. How many different sizes of Banjo Snowball are there? Um, there was five of it? Yeah! You know it all! <laughs> this is going way better. Which of these areas is found in the Mayahem Temple? Um, oh, slightly sacred chamber. Fair enough! Take a look at this scene! Okay. What is the question? Where would you see this rug? Oh, that's in Wumba's Wigwam. You know it all! Last question. Here's a scene from the game. Okay, we have, we've already won this. Oh, that's the train station in Pterodactyl Land. Hmm, okay. That's the end of round one. It seems that my sister Mingella has set a new standard of dumbness with a hopeless score of three. Time to say goodbye, Minji! <laughs> wow! If you thought Grundy was bad before, time to move on to round two. Who is the mighty Mayan god of target shooting? That's Target Zan. Flying pig. Hmm, okay. What game is played in Hailfire Peaks' Coliseum? 
kickball. You know it all. Let's look at the screen. Wow, yeah, if you thought Grunty was bad before, she literally just murdered her sister, who saved her life just because she lost a banjo in a quiz game. Wow. That's also in Pterodactyl Land's waterfall. What was the name of that Pterodactyl Land? Oh, it was the waterfall passage. No, it wasn't. Thicko! Anyone else? Oh, it was the river passage. I'll give you one point! What is Weldar announced as? He is the visually impaired welding torch. You know it all! Here is a scene from the game. This again? Okay, the one that was not seen was red? I'll accept that. How many different characters were involved in the opening story sequence? Uh, you want to answer this, Blob Elda? Fair enough. Here's a scene from the game. This again. I don't know what ten was for. A lucky guess. I'm guessing how many stars were on the tent. How many icicles fall from the icicle grotto roof in Hailfire Peaks? What? More than five, that's for sure. Seven. Fair enough. Generally go for the middle number. Which of these is one of Bottle's kids? Oh, uh, goggles. He gave us the Mazo Base goggles. What is unusual about Mumbo's skull and Grunty Industries? It was made of metal. Not bad. What wall-dwelling fiery object attacks you in Hail Fire Beaks? Oh no, it's the giant hand. A lucky guess. I thought they were going to ask me to name its official name. What was crushed in Glitter Gold's mind? There was the Jiggy Boulder. You know it all. I didn't finish the question. Who was Canary Mary in Glitter Gold's mind? Um, she was a crazy bird woman. Apparently. Fair enough. Who lives in Jinjo Village? The Jinjos. <laughs> okay, that was me. Why couldn't Chuffy the train travel to the ice side of Hellfire Peaks? Because, uh, the boiler was too hot. Not bad. How many times did Banjo defeat Klungo? Free. No. A lucky guess. No, that was easy. What can Tumbo Wamba change Banjo into? Uh, not a crocodile. That was Mumbo in the first game. How many floors does Grunty Industries service elevator take you to? Five. Hmm, okay. What is the name of Jolly Roger's partner, Mary Maggie? You know it all. Take a look at this scene. Wow, I guess we get one more question. Not that we're gonna lose. Oof, that's it. Oh, yeah. That was in the trash can in Cloud Cuckoo Land. Uh... I don't know. Yup. Dunce! Anyone else? What was the question? What brand is the salted snack? Oh. Only one point, though. That's the end of round two. Looks like my sister Blobbelda has also failed to beat that dumb bear. Here's your consolation prize, Blobby. She killed the cat, too. Now listen carefully, dunce. I'm changing the rules for the final round. To make it harder, I won't show you the answers until you buzz in. If you don't know the answer, I'll let you press Z to pass and move on to the next question. I'll set a nice little score for you to beat within the given time. I wish you plenty of bad luck. Let's play! Banjo lost or Grunty squashed? It's the final round. What shape is the TV in the game selection screen? Um, uh, circular. Nope. That was easy. She has 15 points. What's the name of the saucer ride? Saucer of Peril! Not bad. You gotta beat 15 points. What spell did Mumble perform in Glitter Gold's Mind? Levitate! 1,000 year curse. A lucky guess. What is Witchy World's strength-based attraction called? The Cactus of Strength. Not bad. 
What color are the Clockwork Kazooie eggs? They are red with yellow spots. You know it all. Which of these is an area in Hailfire Peaks? Uh, the Ice School Grotto. A lucky guess. Boggy's Den is not the right one. It's Boggy's Acre. What has Mrs. Boggy lost in Witchy World? Her children. You know it all. Who lurked in the train's boiler in Glitter Gulch Mine? Old King Cole, he was a merry old soul. Which is a weapon used by the flat bad guys? Oh, they use a hot dog sausage. <laughs> Not bad. What giant footed dinosaur tries to crush you? It's the Stompadon! I'll accept that. What does Maya Hemtemple's cat like warrior baddie carry? A, a club. A billy club. A lucky guess. What item of clothing does Banjo the washing machine fire? Underwear. Shorts. I'll accept that. Why did Lago complain in Grunty Industries? He needed unblocking. You know it all. What is the combination of Cloud Cuckoo Land's talking safe? Oh, um, it was 1984. I'll accept that. What is the name of the big-footed yeti in Hell? Oh, it was Biggerfoot. Hmm, okay. How many daughters did Tip Tup have? Oh, boy. 19. There's a lot. I'll accept that. Which sea-based creature is not seen in Jolly Roger's Lagoon? Uh, there was no... Uh, shark. Fair enough. What spell does Mumbo perform in Hailfire Peaks? Life Force. <laughs> is the best one. I'll accept that. What is the name of World 2? Blair Gulch Mine. No, not Grunty's Mine! You're wrong! I just said G. What's the color of the revolving lights in Floor Free? Oh, uh, Floor Free, they were yellow. I'll accept that. What brand of battery is used? Okay, that was Shaza. Nope. Even I knew that! How many different sizes of T-Rex are available in Pterodactyland? Ooh, baby and daddy. Lucky guess. How many broken wave racers did Captain Blubber Shop have? Um, I think it was free. Nope. That was easy. What two items were won on Glitter Coach Mines as handcart race? A Jiggy and a Cheeto Page. Hmm, okay. Which character, first seen on an early world, made a Cloud Cuckoo Land reappearance? Canary Mary. Fair enough. That's the end of the final round. What a useless score, that! Huh? What's wrong with the scoring system? It must be broken! You can't have gotten that many points! No, 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 no! I declare the win invalid due to faulty equipment! Oh dear. So what happens now? Hmm, I don't know. Any ideas? Ah, uh, you can escape in a cowardly fashion like in Banjo-Kazooie before we kick your bony butt. Yes, I could! Thanks, Bird Brain! Fortunately, I've built a rocket into my booth for this very reason. I'll be waiting for you at the top like last time. But this time, you'll be the ones taking the fall! Dang. She just had a rocket built into that. Right! Come on, Kazooie! Let's go and see where that door that's just opened leads to. Do you reckon that's the end of the game? I doubt it. We've not had the credits yet. Ah, that's true. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Grunty tries to crush us anyways. I love how they just completely break the fourth wall in this game. Banjo-Tooie was brought to you by... The Banjo-Tooie team. Ed Jinjo Brian, Will Baza Brian, Kieran Klung O'Connell. Salvador Fruity Felicia, Stephen Honeybee Hurst, Grant Old King Cole Kirkhope. Grant Kirkhope, what a guy. <laughs> Love him. Love his music. Paul Woo Fock Fock Machek, Steve Mangella Malpass, Greg Grunty Males. Apparently, Lord Woo Fock Fock was named after a guy in Rareware. 
where he would always say woo whenever Fiends went right, and then he would say naughty words when Fiends didn't. Steve Blobel the Maze, uh, or Males, David Dilbert to Pursuit, and Andy Jolly Roger Paulington. Thank you everyone for making this amazing game. Chris Superstash Sutherland and Mark Chili Willy Wilson. These were their actual nicknames. I have no idea. Rare testing team, Ross Bullion Bill Bullimore, Matt Salty Joe Carter, Justin Canary Mary Cook. Okay. This is getting good. Rare testing team, Richard Rocknut Cousins, Andrew Clayne Kimberly, Luke Mary Maggie Munton. I forgot the credits come at this part. The rare testing team, Dale, Mrs. Boggy Murchy, David, Dippy, Parkinson, Gary, Goby, Phelps. <sighs> Gavin Guffo Price, John Jippo, Jim Silk, Roger Skivvy Smith. Imagine your nickname being Skivvy, that's not good. Gareth Globo Stevenson. <sighs> I don't know how to pronounce that name. Jiggy Wiggy Ward, David Weldar Wong. Is it Hugh or Huh? Roger Harrison, Tom Herzig, and Michael Kelbaugh. Notice how they don't have nicknames. Do, 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 Sam Kujif, Michael Leslie, and Chris Needham. Do, 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 do. Nintendo product testing, Rich Richardson and the Disciples of Jiggy Wiggy. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, that classic <laughs> British cult, the Disciples of Jiggy Wiggy. Thanks to the following rare people, Simon Clinker Farmer, Evelyn Twinkley's Fisher. Oh, she composed the music for uh, Donkey Kong Country Free SNES, I believe. I Sorry, I didn't get to read the last name. Special thanks to the following people, Joel Jamjars Hotchberg, Scott Scrotty Hotchberg, and Leia Mr. Pants Love Day. Chris Pono Seether, Chris Genoine Stamper, and Tim Saberman Stamper. And Andy Bottles Wilson. Thanks to the following Nintendo people, Mr. Arakawa, Chris Campbell, and Mike Fukuda. Yes, everyone who was involved with making this phenomenal game, thank you. You made a masterpiece. Don James, Ken Lobb, and Jacqueline Story. I hope that's how you pronounce the name, I apologize if I got it wrong. Gail Tilden and Mr. Yamuachi. Yamuichi? Uh. Banjo Chewie was developed by Rare and published by Nintendo. Yes, it was. Thank you for that. And finally, well done to you for making it this far. This is indeed a tough game, but we've made it this far, so we're going to finish it.